and gentlemen, welcome Justin King. What I really want to talk to you about is the real conversations I have with clients. So for the financial advisors out there, um, you'll understand these conversations and understand that it's mostly an emotional conversation. You know, they come to our offices and they're scared. Um, and they've got this pot of cash that they've saved hard for. They've got masses of complexity. I only deal with retirees, so that's the only conversations that I have. Um, but they're trying to make sure they don't run out of money. We get that. They're trying to get that, all that complexity around tax. I get that. But they're just kind of going, well, how do well, we invest? Um, but it's scary out there. It's a whole scary world. In fact, if you, if you just listen to the first couple of presentations, you'd be absolutely terrified, wouldn't you, of the future? Um, <laughs> So um, I'm going to show you how I kind of manage their behavior and how I have that client conversation. Um, and then Abraham's going to work some magic on his software from some of the real life clients that I've worked with. And I'll show you how, how I've, um, in essence, managed their behavior and created a portfolio and created a, a strategy for them that, that I hope will bring success. Risk assessments. <laughs> we probably all do them. Does anyone get any value out of them? I get no value out of risk assessments. Just the word risk. When you ask a man in the street or a client walking in, what's risk? Well, that's like going to the casino and putting your money on black. It's like going to the horses and betting on a horse. It's the permanent loss of capital. When have the capital markets ever permanently declined? Silence. They haven't. So the permanent loss of capital to me is risk, and the whole statement, this is a risk assessment, puts the client into a fearful place before we've even started. So, and, and you're trying to do this with, uh, some of you may know that I'm in the, you know, I follow the kind of Kinder Institute life planning process, so I'm doing all this deep questioning, trying to go unearth their deep fulfillment, what their goals are, and then you've got a slot in this thing, oh, I just want to talk to you about risk now, about how we can lose all of your money. By the way, that's never happened in a well-diversified portfolio of well-run companies across the world. That's never happened, but I've got to talk to you about it. This is Abraham's Timeline app. So I use Voyant as my modelling software, which is kind of deterministic, straight-line growth rates. You know, it goes up at 3%, you have inflation, at whatever. You know, it, it doesn't give a, it gives a cash flow model. The key aspect is, up, up on the right-hand side, we've got a 19% success rate. The chart shows the historical maximum sustainable income. This is the highest amount of income you could have taken without running out of money within 38 years of each start date. So we've got to look for a long-term income solution, haven't we, for this money. What I'm trying to do at this point is basically just manage the behaviour of the investor. They are happy, they become educated, they become informed and they start to understand what we're doing. And they also understand through this software that the, the whole thing is vague it is not guaranteed, it is not certain, but you can see that we have applied a certain um, amount of evidence and um, kind of technicality and a process to managing not only their, the investor behavior, because that's hugely important, but also hopefully the, the, um, a good client outcome will be by managing that, um, that portfolio in that way. We need to be the, the Sherpa and the guide to our clients. We need to actually lead them into a jungle that they don't understand. Because if we lead them down this route that Hargreaves will, which will fill in this, do that, end up in this cautious, tiny portfolio with no cash flow management, they will have a poor, poor outcome. So I don't go into masses of detail because some clients we just won't get it. But they just want to see that you've got the knowledge and the expertise to kind of understand what the potential outcomes and the potential downsides are. Thank you. Thank you.